guys, my name is Alexi Maitland and I am a local here to Tampa, Florida. And recently I actually came to Titan Medical Center to get a full blood work panel done. Um, I've actually never gotten one done before, but I am a bodybuilder and I have been competing for about three years now. So I just know with that, it's very important to make sure everything internally is working optimally. So I decided and I was referred to Titan Medical Center and the moment I walked in, I felt extremely welcomed. It's just a super comfortable atmosphere. I actually got my blood work done about a week ago, and then today I had my follow-up consultation, and it was it could not have gone any better. They really took the time to sit down with me, go over everything extremely in-depth, answer all of my questions. They made me feel very comfortable throughout the process, and now I am walking away just, just feeling really good about what's to come. So if you are some whether or not you're a bodybuilder or just looking to optimize your internal health, um, highly recommend checking out Titan Medical Center. Hey guys, uh, so today I want to answer some of the most common questions about semi-glutide, our Aries injectable weight loss therapy. Um, and some people have some questions when they get their medication. And I understand that because we all don't know what some of these things do, mixing kits and uh, reconstitution. And you're like, what is all this? And how can I get through this as easy as possible? And then how can I inject my medication the best too? Um, this is all going to help you get the best results out of your therapies. So at this point, let's go through semi-glutide, the injectable weight loss therapy from Titan Medical Center and how to get this therapy going to get you guys the results. So you're going to get your package in the mail. You're going to have this beautiful, big blue Titan box there. One is going to be your medication or your therapy. It's going to come in the Sambra vial. It's going to have directions on the Sambra vial, um, how to do your medication and how to reconstitute your medication if needed. So at this point, you need to pay attention to the directions. Now, if you read the directions and you're still like, what did I just read? How am I going to do this? Please call or text us at 727-389-3220. Our staff would be happy to go through everything with you to make sure you're doing your therapy properly so you can get the best results. All right, so at that point, you're going to have your medication, which is semi-glutide, our areas injectable weight loss therapy. And then you're going to have bacterial static water here. This is your reconstitution uh, dilutant, okay? And then you might have some other things in there. You might A, have a syringe and a needle all together, which is pretty self-explanatory, or you might have the syringe and the needle come. Okay? And you'll just have to put these together, right? After that, you're gonna do the reconstitution of your medication. Now, reconstitution is when you're putting the dilutant on the medication, reconstituting it and making it live. And at that point, the medication comes lifelized possibly, okay? And with the lipolization, it keeps the concentration of the medication until it's ready for active use. That's why you're gonna reconstitute it so it's active and you're ready to go, okay? So it's a pretty simple and easy process to do. And you wanna pay attention to the directions on your amber vial on how much medication to dilute your semaglutide with. After you've reconstituted the medication, okay, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to how much you're injecting. And that's the biggest thing that I get from people out there. They say, I don't know how much, or I injected this much. I'm like, oh my gosh, you injected a lot. Um, don't worry, call us, we'll walk you through what the problem or the issue is, if there is one. But we don't want that. We want you guys to have a smooth process. So usually, when you're gonna start semaglutide, you're gonna start with 10 units. Okay, that's all right there. You're like, man, that's not that much. This stuff packs a major punch. And if you decide to go rogue or cowboy and you want to inject, you know, half the syringe or four ml syringe, 
you could, you know, get some other negative symptoms, nothing that's going to kill you. Um, but at that point, it's going to feel not so good, right? As far as nauseation uh, and stuff like that, that could happen. Some people, they don't get any side effects whatsoever. So at that point, you're going to start out, everybody's usually 10 units, okay? Unless prescribed by the, the medical provider or the physician in a different way, this is usually a starting point here at Titan Medical Center with semiglutide. And all you're going to do is, is take the cap. And once you have A, um, disinfected the top of both of these bottles as far as reconstitution and for injection once this is um, sterilized properly then you can pull from the medication and you can go right in the center I did this before the video so if anybody does have questions about it I'm not going to inject this either so 10 units so at that point that is how much you're going to inject for your first dose of semi-glutide and it's really important to pay attention to the directions on the end of vial and your prescription and go forth if you are having any negative symptoms or any questions or concerns it's always your best bet to contact us directly 727-389-3220 and our medical staff and providers will walk you through any questions concerns or problems you may have so i hope this video has helped you guys out a lot uh, in understanding of how to in reconstitute semi-glutide and how to start your first dose of semi-glutide okay and with this first dose you're going to shoot this subcutaneously that means uh, right in the three to six inches from your navel on either sides and at you're going to do it at a 45 degree angle going in across the stomach okay all right guys so if you have any questions concerns please contact us if not I hope you guys have the best journey with semi-glutide. This is one of the best weight loss therapies that we have. And I hope Aries, the injectable semi-glutide weight loss therapy, kicks that weight loss into gear for you guys and dominates that war in fat. Blood work is the most important thing to start with if you want to get on a healthy track and live a healthy lifestyle. Why? Because you want to know what's going on inside of you. That is where Titan Medical Center can help you out nationwide, getting in-depth blood work, seeing what's going on inside so you can make an educated decision where you want to go with your health and your life. Contact us today, 727-389-3220. Now we have Melanie and Emily in some of Titan Medical Center's top-end fashion. These are great for formal events, cocktail parties, dinner engagements, or just going out on a night in the town, right? And you want to look spectacular everywhere you go. So these dresses will really pop it off for some of you ladies out there. They are exclusive, um, and some are in limited forms and fashions and quantities. So at that point, if you do get a chance to get one, I would get one immediately and jump on it. Some things you will not be able to get, and these are exclusive just for some of our tight nets to wear out and about and at some of our different events. So we gotta keep our tight nets looking exclusive in some of the fashions that they get, you know, from the regular crowd out there because we don't want somebody to say, oh, are these all tight nets or are these all for sale? So the dresses, if you can get them, get them exclusive from us, Titan Medical Center. You can look your best, feel your best. Whether you're out in the town or you're going to a nightclub or you're going to a formal event, why not look tight and strong everywhere you go? As we get older, it's harder to heal. When you're young and you get injured, it's a lot easier for you to recover and heal yourself. Your body repairs itself a lot simpler when you're younger. It's just a fact. As we get older, we know that if we hurt ourselves, it usually takes a lot longer to recover from those injuries. And people injure themselves every single day in every kind of situation you could possibly think of. Whether it's at their job, or walking down the street, right? They trip over their feet or some stump in the road. They're at the gym. They hurt themselves lifting or their shoulder. 
their, their knee, their elbows, all these different things happen. And we might have a lot of inflammation in our body, especially as we get older and we have more injuries and we're dealing more things around us. Inflammation is prevalent in the body, right? So what can we do to go against all these different things? To help heal yourself faster, possibly. To help get some of that inflammation out of your body. To improve your quality of life, whether it's your activities or your daily functions. So this is what I'm talking about, TB500. It's a synthetic version of TB4, thymosine beta-4, and it's a peptide. It's generally regarded as safe, so there's really no negative side effects that are going to happen to you, and it can help in a lot of different scenarios, whether it's your joints, your ligaments, any soft tissue areas, and it works by creating new blood vessels to the area to get blood to the area to recover those areas or to help heal. Now, it's not the end-all, be-all of recovery. If you break bones, this isn't going to repair bones. All right, I'm just being honest with you guys. Very transparent and forward. But it's helped a number of different people. And people that were really thinking about getting surgery, this has benefited them tremendously where they have not had to get surgery. We've had excellent patient results with TB500. So, if you're looking to help yourself out with an injury you might have sustained, or you're trying to be preventative about injuries possibly, or you want to increase your flexibility, TB500 may be the therapy for you guys. It's an awesome peptide therapy. I really suggest that you guys look into it. If you guys are hurt, want to recover faster, want to be preventative, or just be healthier overall. So if you guys are looking to improve your quality of life and heal quicker, contact us about TB500. Call or text 727-389-3220. And check out the website, TitanMedicalCenter.com. Thanks, guys. What's up guys, so John out here, and so my extracurricular activities are not the same that they used to be. Obviously, I'm a father now, family's priority to me, my son's a priority to me, and uh, I'm coaching baseball, right? So I coach two teams, I coach a rec team, and I coach an advanced baseball team for the league. So my time is getting stretched like you would not believe, right? All the time I'm working with Titan, and I have to go in, do all that, right? So those are grueling hours in the day, then I got to find some time for some activity for myself to keep myself in great shape because that's what should be most important is our health. And then I have to come out here and I have weekday games, weekday practices, Saturday games, doubleheader Sunday games, and then I'm going right back into my work week. So you're asking yourself, how do I find the time, which is really crazy, and the energy to do this? Because now I'm 41 years old, right? It isn't like I used to be in my 20s. When I was in my 20s, I could sleep maybe two hours, get up, be ready to rock and roll all day long, all day and night, right? But at this point, it, it's gotten a little bit harder for me, a little more challenging, I think, for all of us as we get older. And this is kind of where the Titan therapies have really helped me, right? Not in just the gym or working out or doing those things like that, but out here, giving me the energy, giving me the focus, and being able to teach these kids, you know, something that they're going to have with themselves their whole life, right? This is something that they're gonna keep with them, their experiences, the fun they're having out here. And, and, and the teamwork, right? This teamwork's what it's all about. So this is just some of the things that Type Medical Center Therapies helped me with. And I'm not just an owner, I'm a patient as well. So I take the therapies right along with all you guys. I've been doing it for years now, for over 10 plus years. And it's been a game changer for me in every way, shape, or form. You know, from my physical health to my mental health, all the way around. Type Medical Center Therapies have taken me to a whole different level. And at that point, I know they can do the same for you guys. So uh, you guys can check out some of the game back here. I'm about to start here very shortly. I appreciate you guys.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here Kitty. are bringing you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, improve, and ignite that relationship to whole new levels, right? Because that's what we want to do. We always want to bring our relationship up to the highest peak we possibly can and enjoy each other. And for you guys or girls out there that aren't in a relationship, don't worry. These things are going to help you guys in your arsenal get a new, improved, successful relationship, hopefully, right, in the future. And you'll have all the information and these tips and tricks in your little bag so you can pull them out when you need them. So today, you know, we want to talk about something that, you know, I think everybody needs to talk about with their partner. Communication is always key and we always bring it up. So why not here too as well? So with this, it's talking about spicing up things in the bedroom. Yeah, you guys forget about that. It's, you know, everything takes work, right? Your, your relationship like that. That is so much gotta, work. This is so, I gotta go out on a date. I gotta make sure I'm listening to her or him. I gotta, you know, be, be good at what I'm doing. Like, this is so much to act, you know, but the bedroom activity, you know, we always wanna connect with our partner mentally, right? Emotionally but physically too as well. And that could be by a kiss or by a hug or by holding hands, but ultimately the bond of coming together, right? Is, is the ultimate true thing that, you know, consummates marriage per se, right? Or consummates the relationship. And it brings you guys really, really close together. Usually that's one of the most ultimate bonding experiences literally, you can possibly have with somebody. You're, you're literally interlocked, yeah. right? <laughs> this, is, this is serious. So at that point, like, you know, once you make that, or it should be a serious thing for you. A lot of people nowadays, it's just, you know, they pick the random person on the street or on mm -hmm. an app, they flip left and flip right, and they say, listen, this is gonna be it. Yikes. But if you decide, and that's okay if you do that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not hating on you, it's new day and age, whatever, play on, play up. Whatever you wanna do. But when you, when you get in a relationship, Relationship, right? This is when it becomes more physical and more emotional with the physicality that's happening and become more attached to your partner or you should and um, With that, you know, it's something that you need to constantly do, right? It's not something you do the one time and then you know you go ten years you're like no because you know us here as humans we are made and wired to you know conceive per se right now we don't want to have a whole bunch of babies but i think everybody enjoys uh the act of sexual activity oh yeah i mean or should and if you don't then we should probably address that right you know, absolutely you know, there should there maybe there's other underlying issues right? absolutely and i feel like after you know i hear it all the time that you know that you're married right and let's just say that you guys only hit the bedroom once a month Yikes. guys you guys got it. You got to kick it up a notch, yeah. right? It, I mean, let's, I'll be realistic with you guys, but maybe once a week at minimum, I think would be the minimum because I'm telling you a lot of couples out there, there it's a, it's like a once a month thing. I don't know about or even that. longer. That, I mean, John would not go for that. No way. <laughs> he dude. would not go for that. Come on, so, uh, you know, I'm just saying. And I'm 15 gotta, years in. I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Don't you gotta, say it's a married thing. I, yeah, that's the most common excuse. That is. Here. It's a married thing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to get away with no, it. No. And you can still spice it up with lots of things. They, yep. they make many things out there for you guys to spice it yep. up with. It's the new day and age of many cool things. We'll just label it as that. Mm. Or, you yeah. know, put on a little outfit or something, there you know, you sometimes that, that, that'll spice it up. So there's, there's plenty of ways to spice it up and make it, you know, make it nice. And even if you don't spice it up, just get in there yeah. and do the, do yeah. the deed. Yeah. Just do it. You know, like and, Nike. And communicate too. Like, Hey, you know, it's good to ask your partner, Hey, listen, you know, is there anything I can do that will improve the experience for you? Even if you've been together forever, it's always good to communicate about these things. You might learn a bit more or try something new, possibly, hey, that maybe you both like, you never know. Uh, at that point, it's serious, you know. And if you're having erectile dysfunction or sexual dysfunction as a male or female, or libido issues, Type Medical Center can help with that with libido functions. And there might be underlying problems like hormone issues that we could blood test for, you know. But if you say, hey, listen, there's really no problems, we just aren't getting the time, that is your red flag to make time and to make time for you and your partner and make sure it's pleasurable for you and your partner. So you guys are always looking forward to it, right? I mean, like, listen, like we a get little it. Teenage, like, oh, all right, guys, we, we yeah. get it, man. You know, I like, mean, listen, on. we work a lot of hours, right? You can't say you're too busy. I don't want to hear it. I don't, don't want to hear it. You are, you are preaching yeah. to the choir. We got kids, I have zero it. empathy yeah. for you for at sure, all. For sure, 100%. Okay? Just so you know. 
Zero. Hundred percent. Zero empathy. Hundred percent. So we, you know, we got the business, we got the kid, we got the house, we got this, we got that, and guess what? You still got to make time to do it, right? Absolutely. Got literally. It. it. I mean, literally. literally. <laughs> but you have to make time. That is truly a connection. You know, you have to connect with each other physically. Yes. You got to do it, guys. It's important. And I, I really don't think this once a month thing is going to work out for you guys. So if you we're wanna, longer. If I heard you, people go hot once every three months, every six very, months, a couple uh, times a it's year. It's a little like, odd. I, I think, me yeah, personally. You can't do that. Like, you, you need to connect, you know, and, you know, you need to communicate. And you guys need to have fun together. Yep. You know, it's not a chore. Yep. You know, to have relations with your partner. That's not a chore. And it shouldn't feel like a chore. Like, even when I have cramps, I'll tell him, like, ah, I have cramps. Yeah. But you can't have cramps every day. Yeah. I mean, you know, but yeah. then your partner should be very understanding yeah. about what's going on and all that jazz. For sure. It goes both ways. For sure. Right? If there's a medical issue, that's one thing. Right. A, a, a serious medical issue. Not, oh, I have a migraine every time ah, that don't work I get some excedrin yeah get the excedrin you, you, know, <laughs> ah, you know I'm, having, I'm going through You're menopause so I'm, I'm dry down there again so I'm little, I mean come on like there's things that we can do that to get Plenty. past these things Plenty so don't make excuses either yep. um, you, you guys got to be responsible for your relationship and if you want a successful relationship you have to work at it it's like any other thing that you want to accomplish. You have to have the work ethic there and you have to be constantly improving that, right? Because things are changing every day and you have to adapt to some of these different things and you have to grow together and not grow apart. That's the big problem. A lot of people start together and they start growing apart and they grow so far apart that they don't even recognize their partner anymore or they don't care about their partner anymore. What got you to that point? Right? If you ask yourself that in one of your past relationships, you've been there and you've like, you know, like we started so hot and heavy and you know, I, I, I just don't know how we even got here. No, you let it go for too long. You, you've let something go too long. Your partner didn't communicate something to you at that point because you guys weren't communicating. And like I said, that goes back to it. But you know, the sexual activity, you know, or the relationship, the love needs to be shared. That passion needs to be shared between you and her or him and her or however you guys are doing it out there. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I, you know, I, I, love is love, right? And whoever you love, just show them that love and that physicality mentally too as well and emotionally but all three of these things go together like i like to say harmonic balance there is a harmonic balance if you, and, and listen especially if you don't like something they're doing please say it because then you might want to do it more yeah. if they stop doing what you don't like yeah so that's communication right once again you know like right. say you don't want your hair being pulled on because you, you want you want you're going bald i don't know something Give me a headache. Funny. it's giving me a headache so don't pull on her hair anymore. Maybe she'll want to be in the bedroom a lot. Uh, Just say. So I mean, so I mean, even at that, like, you know, random things like that too. Let's say, it's let, random. let's say, like, this is a probably a common issue too that maybe we aren't talking about because everything's perfect peaches and cream. But when you talk about things that maybe you want to do, that your partner doesn't like to do, right? Maybe it's pulling their hair, and they don't like. It gives me a headache. You guys got to work around something. Maybe only pull the hair. Maybe one get a time. wig. I, I mean, pull it off. I, I, I throw, don't know. I just throw it across the room. I don't know, but you know, <laughs> maybe some substitutions out there. Some things your partner is going to compromise on, and there's some things that they're not. There's going to always an answer, guys. Though there's always a way to fix um, it. You know, to some extent, right? And you know, it's just it is what it is. So they have to be comfortable in doing this too. And you want to make sure whatever you guys are doing that it's not gonna compromise the relationship. Yeah. And if you think that it has any chance of compromising your relationship, at that point, you should really, really reconsider what it is or maybe compromise on something different, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, just so, meet at the middle. It's, it's all about compromising, but that involves communication. Communication. So, you know, if you wanna improve your sexual life, um, at that point, communication's key, but really getting into that act, touching, um, you know, being Snuggling. physical with the person. I do snuggles. And I enjoy do it right each in other. here. Yeah. It's this armpit. Yeah. See? Yeah. And I go yeah. in the snuggles. Yeah. Like that. And then it leads to See? wonderful things. See? See? That's love. We have a thing. That's love. We have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so if you're willing or wanting to improve the relationship, I would definitely consider this. Um, I would definitely consider, you know, taking this advice. Uh, and now if you have a great, you know, life in the bedroom, then hey, listen, keep on at what you're doing, but don't let it putter or spit fat out or let that flame, you know, go away. Make sure that your constant flame is going, the heat is rising in all ways, shapes and forms. 
So at that point, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope this is going to help your relationship or maybe your future relationship. Watch us every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m., DVRS, if not, if you guys can't watch us live. And check out YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you'll see this show and all the other shows and all the cool content with me, Sharice, and all the Titan crew. So, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on Cupid's Corner. See you then.